counting one to ten. We are counting one to twenty. We are counting one to forty. We are counting one to forty. How are you, little angels? I hope you're okay. I'm fine. Are you okay? It's your teacher, Nonsieta. Welcome to Easy Elimu Learning Simplified. Now, I know most of you are very curious. You have so much at home that you've saved. Two or fours. Teacher, yes. In fact, these holidays, I'm planning to surprise you. Thank you. You see, these are my kids. I know. Now, today we want to talk about another thing, still under measurement, called money. Do you know money is under measurement? Do you know that money is under measurement? And we need this money. Who can tell me what is money? What is money? Money is what we give when we want to buy. I've gone to the shop, I want a ball. For me to get this ball, I will give the shopkeeper money to give me the ball. Wow. What else? What, who else can explain to us what is money? Something which everyone accepts in exchange of something else. So, when you talk about money, Kenyan money is divided into two groups. And we are saying, the things you go to buy in the shop, they're what we call the goods. If I go to the shop right now and say, give me a ruler, this is a good. Why? Because I can touch it, I can see it. But when you talk about money given in exchange of something, is it only something you can see? Is it only something you can see? No. Why? Because sometimes I go and sit down in a salon and I, say the, I tell the person of the salon, please, make my hair. And at the end of the day, what do I do? I give that person money. Has, has this salon person given me something? No. She has only done my hair. So when you talk about something, give, something you give in exchange, it is something that you can see or something that you cannot see. When I go to a shoe person and I tell him, do you know what? My shoes are almost coming out. Please, mend for me my shoe. And he does that. Have, have I sold my shoe? No. Has this person given me the, the money? No. I am the one paying for the service. That is what we call the service. So money is something that you give in exchange of a good, something that you can see, or a service, something that someone has done for you. A plumber comes and fix our pipes. Did a plumber sell for us anything? No. Did you sell anything to the plumber? No. The plumber has repaired our pipes and we are giving out in terms of money. Are we together? So when you talk about money, money is something you give in exchange of buying something or getting a service. Are we together? So when you talk about Kenyan money, money is divided into two denominations. There are those ones when I'm carried in the uh, when I carry them to the shop, I am like this. They make noise. You can know that that person has money. Why? Because of the kind of nature they are made of. Have you ever seen that kind of money? Have you ever seen that kind of money? You have. These ones are called coins. They are called coins. And these coins, they are metallic. What is a coin? A coin is a metallic. Is a coin is metallic money. Metal. It's made from metal. So we say it's metallic money. You cannot find a coin in, in form of a paper. No, it is in metal form. And we are saying this coin has its own features. Yes, give out, give out to everybody in each group. I want to see. Want to see? Want to see? Okay. So these coins, we are saying they have the head and the tail. Sometimes in other games, we normally toss the coin. And when you toss the coin, they agree that if the coin shows us the head, they know what the, they mean by the term the head. And they know what it means by the term the tail. So they'll tell you, if the coin shows the head, you'll give me this. And if it shows the tail, it is like this. Why? 
because the coin has a head and a tail. And these coins are from as low as one shilling. So we normally have the coin for one shilling. Then we come, have you ever seen the five bob? The five bob is smaller. And you see something that has, has kept me wondering, how comes one shilling has the lowest value? You know, what can you buy with one shilling? It's only those small, small sweets, the patkos. But five bob can buy an onion, can buy a tomato, can buy a wiki. But in size, it's very small. I have never understood the irony behind that. I'm yet to find out. Then we come to which one? The 10 shillings. Then after 10, we have which coin? The 20 shillings. And nowadays, we even have another one written on 40 shillings. So how many coins do we have in the country? Our country is Kenya. So how many coins do we have in Kenya? One, two, three, four, five. How many coins do we have in the Kenya? We have five coins in Kenya. And each coin has its own features. Now, one shilling is not the same as five shillings. It's not the same as 10 shillings. It's not the same as 20 shillings. And it's not the same as 40 shillings. When you look at one, in your groups, look at your one shilling coin. Our one shilling coin the head, when it, they talk about the head, the head is the one that has an animal in front. Then the tail has, what can you see? Two lions and something that is found on the flag. Very good. The head has, the head has an animal. For example, the one shilling, the head is made up of a giraffe. The one shilling, the head is a giraffe. Head is giraffe. What about five shillings? The head, let's check the five shillings. The head, the head of five shillings is a rhino. The head has a what? A rhino. Have you ever seen a rhino? Is it a rhino or rhinoceros? This is a rhinoceros. Rhino. This is a rhinoceros. What about the um, 10 shillings coin? The 10 shillings coin has the, has the, the head has the lion. What is the time, Mr. Lion? One o'clock. And the 20 shilling coin, the head has the Mr. Elephant. Wow. The 40 shilling coin still has the head of our first president. Is it our first president or who was Moy? It has the head of the president. Head of the president. But we are yet to find out. These 40 shillings, I don't have it yet. So we are not going to talk about it so much. But in the next lesson, if I get the coin, I'll be able to show you what it has. But the old one still has the head of the president. So these are the five coins. And each coin has a different head. The tail is the same. The tail is the same. But for the head the number the one shilling coin has the giraffe the rhinoceros on the five shilling coin and on the 10 shilling coin we have the lion and the 20 has the elephant now when you look at this coin remember the way we are counting numbers we are counting one to 20 we are counting one to 30. when you look at this coin which coin has the biggest value when you talk about biggest value which coin can i go to the market with it i buy a banana I buy an apple or I go I buy a banana and a carrot and a mango and which coin when I go to the market I even wonder what will I buy when I go to the market now nowadays with one shilling coin I might only come back home with a sweet when I go with five shillings I might come back home with an maybe orange not even so sure Maybe tomato. Tomato? Yes. When I go 
with a 10 shilling coin i might come with a banana a banana when i go with a 20 shilling coin i might come with a mango or an or an orange when i go with a 40 shilling coin i might come with a orange i can come with a carrot and maybe i had there the capsicum so which one of these coins can you use to buy a lot of things so when i ask which one has the biggest value i am asking which one of these coins has looks like a lot of money that when you go to the market you can buy three or four things teacher it is the 40 shilling coin this is the 40 shilling coin is the one that you can use to buy a lot of things but when you look at the one shilling coin it has the smallest value the only thing you can buy from one shilling is only a sweet so when we talk about the coins this is what we're supposed to know about the coins how many coins do you have five coins the one shilling coin the five shilling coin the 10 shilling coin the 20 shilling coin and the 40 shilling coin what else have we learned about a coin a coin is a metallic money what else do you know about the coin the coin has the head and it has the tail the tail and each coin has a different head this is the one that has a giraffe the one that has a rhinoceros and the one that has a, a lion and the one that has an elephant so up to there who has a problem about coins that is all you're supposed to know about coins five coins the one that has a head and the one that has a tail and what is found on those coin and which coin has the biggest value so we are saying 40 when you compare 40 and 10 40 has the biggest this one has the smallest when you compare 20 and 5 20 has the biggest value 5 has the smallest value are we together so what you're going to do is take your coin take the one shilling coin put it under your book then you you trace are we together take another one you do the head and the tail the head and the tail both for one shilling five shillings 10 shillings and 20 shillings coin when we find for the 20 we are for the 40 shillings coin we are going to trace but for now trace the one shilling coin the head and the tail you go to the two five shillings you do the head and the tail the 10 shillings you you trace the head and the tail the 20 shillings you trace the head and the tail it was nice having you around as we explore money thank you very much